Lord of Jesus Christ, you are listening to the Voice of Reason. I'm the Voice of Reason. This is Leaving the 99, and we are about to leave Albuquerque behind because we are going to Colorado Springs, Colorado, because I am about to debate James White. This is going to be a lot of fun. It so, is. Can't wait. Let's hit the road. Hey. Always got to have it when we travel. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this done. Excited. I hope everybody's excited. Well, Honestly, I think he's gonna do great. We got a little sneak peek of, of what's gonna go down. So, and I enjoyed it. It's gonna keep him in our prayers. We're gonna continue to pray and see how everything turns out. I, I think he's gonna do really good. 2,000 years of teachings. I mean, what can go wrong, you know? It's what, what's been taught through ages and ages. So, I mean, there's there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. The, uh, the apostles themselves, they didn't carry Bibles around. They didn't preach with Bibles. So, we got this. <laughs> What he said, it's right here. It's the Eucharist, it's uh, in a monstrance. Yes, sir. Let's do it. I don't know what else you want me to say. I'm just trying to get in the van, you know what I mean? Got places to go. Well, let's go. So, so he's also going to say that the Catholic uh, argument for Peter being the rock in Matthew 16 that that's based on um, a Hebrew version of the Gospel of Matthew that we don't have. So if he says that, I'm going to respond by saying this. Dr. White claims that the Catholic interpretation of Peter being the rock in Matthew 16 comes from an Aramaic or Hebrew version of Matthew that doesn't exist. There are two problems with this. Number one, the Catholic side has never said that we can only come to this conclusion if we go by the Aramaic, but that we can conclude that Peter is the rock from the Greek text alone. And number two, we don't need an Aramaic version of Matthew's Gospel because the Aramaic word for rock, kepha, is used in the Greek New Testament multiple times in a transliterated form to refer to Peter. Kephas is used in John 1, Acts 10, 1 Corinthians 9, Galatians 1 and 2. So we don't need an Aramaic version of the Bible because the relevant Aramaic term is used in the Greek text for us, which leaves no doubt that Peter is the rock. I'll give my voice a break for a little bit, I'll wet my whistle, and then I'll do my opening statement again. And hopefully we can get it down in 17 minutes. Hopefully. An hour and 56 minutes. Nice. Good, we'll good. be there in an hour and 56 minutes. I means I got an Not hour and really. 56 minutes to get this down to 17 minutes. What's an hour and 56 minutes divided by 17 minutes? Because that would be like 77 minutes. Wait, no, wait. Not 77 minutes. It'd be like 116 minutes if my math is correct. I don't know. I'm not a math guy. Actually, I love math. I don't, it's, it, what did you put in this drink, fool? 116 minutes, right? Divided by 17? Hmm. I could have 99 minutes to spare. Let's try this. I'm gonna time myself because you're holding on to the camera. We did it. We made it. We are in Colorado Springs. James White is literally right down the street and tomorrow morning I'm gonna go face to face with that man. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really excited, Lord of Jesus Christ, that we got here safe. Um, we prayed the rosary on the way here. We uh, went over all of the material we're going to present in the debate on the way here. And I just cannot wait to have this debate and to also get to see all of the amazing, beautiful, lovely supporters of mine that said that they're going to come out for it. I just can't wait. I'm very, I feel very blessed, very fortunate and very spoiled yeah. to yeah. be here. And this is the man, him and his lovely wife, that made sure that we got here safe by the grace of God. And um, thanks to everybody who made this possible because I wouldn't be able to be debating James White right now if it wasn't for all of my supporters that have made me as big as I am online. So thank you guys, because I I still can't believe that I'm here, and it's because of you guys. Lord of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we uh, arrived. We have just settled in to the lovely home of the family that is hosting me and my producer. A special thanks to the Dills for allowing us into their lovely home. This is super cool because where we're staying, we're just surrounded by all these books, and we're surrounded by, they have an Easter candle right there. They have, the, left, they have uh, the, the, the Holy Gospel open, which is super cool. They have a beautiful uh, a cross, a procession cross that you would see like in the liturgy, you know, the, the, the altar server processing in the liturgy with it. Um, this is super cool. Uh, we, we feel super at home and uh, we're very, very fortunate, very blessed to be here. 
and uh, I'm super excited. Right now it is it's about 10 to 7 local time, and the debate is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, so we're going to go have some dinner. We're going to discuss some game plan, some strategy, go over all of our material, and we're going to make sure that we win this debate. So thank you all for following us on this journey. We're just checking out the battleground for tomorrow morning's debate. We are outside of Breathe Reformed Baptist Church. And this is where the magic is going to happen tomorrow. This is where I'm going to be debating the legendary Dr. James White. And um, I'm so excited. I'm so tired. I can't wait to go to bed. So I can wake up nice and early and we can do this because this is, this is going to be... This is going to be the hottest ticket in town tomorrow morning. Right here. You guys make sure you get plenty of sleep today. It's a blessing to be able to no, join man. you. Thank you, thank you. Let yeah. me go around and let me check it out. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> I was telling Alex how how it's just uh, been a uh, been a uh, uh, a blessing that he's a blessing in the church because um, um, everybody's coming coming back and and knowing their faith and thanks to people like him that are not not scared that are fearless to be able to speak up and and say the truth and and learn and learn and know the truth that is that's something so amazing i'm just uh, honored to to be here and to get to know this man right here who are you talking to me you talking yeah. about me <laughs> yeah. nothing but good things so the, the gracious host here just took us to a Mexican restaurant and as you can tell me and Iram are very Mexican so we are definitely in our element here which means yes. that tomorrow we're going to just do our thing and um, I just got just now as we speak I got a, a message from somebody that has been helping me prepare for this debate someone who's helped me so much tremendously a true gentleman who is so generous with his time he just sent me an amazing message. I'm going to show it to you guys here. This is William Albrecht. He just took the time to record himself sending me this message. This is what William Albrecht says. Brother, you're going to do incredible. Remember, remember. Let me remind you, it is not a matter of whether or not you're going to win. Rather, it is a matter of how wide a margin you're going to win. You're going to win. It is your time to shine, your time to dominate. You're gonna win, I'm telling you right now. Don't have anything else in your mind. You're probably nervous tonight. I know that I was before my biggest debate against Dr. White's best friend, uh, Dr. Brown, uh, and I hammered him. I hammered him into oblivion. You're gonna hammer James White into oblivion tomorrow. There is no question about it. You are prepared, you are ready, you're better, you're quicker, you're stronger, you're more dominant. You're hungry. Don't forget that. Keep that in your mind. You're winning tomorrow. No way around it. And I'll be around if you need a text, if you have your phone on you. I know you won't need me, but if you have your phone for anything, ever, if you ever need anything, I will be around. God bless you. God keep you, brother. Oh, yeah. Yo, that's William Marvin right there. That's a big business right there. That's a big time right there. That was all I needed. Now I'm, I, I was, I was getting sleepy i was ready to go to bed but now after that nah i'm ready to have the debate right now where's james white where's james white where'd he go let's have the debate right now i'm ready i don't think he's around he probably went to bed i should yeah. probably do the same thing let's go you good i just got a message from right. uh, uh william albrecht who's been helping me and he just sent me like a message to pump me up he, he's he he took a video of himself and he woo, i'm i'm even more excited than i was when I was tonight. eating the chips. Uh, you want to walk home? You can get that exercise. I get probably, all that you know what? Out. That probably wouldn't be a bad <laughs> idea. A beautiful idea. night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm Probably ready for there. bed. No, when I came. Glory to Jesus Christ. Before we debate, we are going to Mass. Confession and Mass. It's a beautiful thing. Let's go. I think we're good. <laughs> All right, my friends, we just got out of church. I just went to confession, and then after that, I went to Mass. I had no idea that we're going to have the opportunity to go to Mass right before the debate, but thank God that we did have that opportunity. We just did it, and now we're about to go to the debate. Dr. James White, hope you're ready. I am expecting, based on Alex's sincerity, that he will come prepared, 
I don't know what to expect on what that preparation is. The thesis statement was that the Bible pr says the Catholic authority. I would like to know what he means by that. So I'm going to be focusing the whole time on what does he define as Catholic authority in that thesis statement? Because I need to know what does he mean the Bible points to Catholic authority. So I'm really hoping that he does deliver that well, but I am expecting James to outclass him in debate experience. I love Alex though. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, guys. What I'm expecting is, and what I'm hoping for is that more and more people um, join the the one true faith and um, come closer to Christ uh, through His church, through His congregation, and to um, come to uh, a, a humbleness of, of realization that um, yes, um, He did found it, the Catholic Church, and it does, um, the Catholic Church does have the authority. So hope um, I hope and I pray and I've been praying that yes, um, Alex does a great job in in putting all the points out there to prove um, that yes, the Catholic Church is the authority just as the Bible is. Yes, the Bible does have the truth, but not anybody that carries the Bible under the shoulder has the truth. So that's why we need the church. Amen. Not that's knowing that. Check it out. I, I, I realized, I, realized I was like, I was like, huh, where, where, what happened to Jesus? He's not here. I just, he, he has risen. <laughs> I was like, where'd he go? I actually, so I grabbed a couple cru crucifixes from, um, uh, Mary's house those I bought and I bought one for my co-host who's matter of fact I don't know if Alex told you guys my co-host is uh, in surgery right now I asked Alex to keep him in his prayers so if you guys you know he hopefully all works out but he's in South Africa right now um, but yeah I bought some nice crucifixes from there I love the beautiful crucifix yeah the thing is that people fail to realize with the crucifix is that it's communication and this is where I disagree with the one thing I do disagree with some people that take it too far but it, it communicates an image just like all art yeah. People, why you wear it? Because I preach Christ crucified. I don't know. What you mean. <laughs> I don't have a problem with an empty cross either. It's, it's Christ risen. Like <laughs> the icon of Mary and Jesus, a gift. A gift from me to Alex. The, the hand of fellowship showing that uh, it's my brother. Contrary to popular belief. Icons are not a problem. It's how the heart is. You can make anything an oh, icon. Oh, brother. he must have stilts on. I thought he was shorter than you that. Thought, how you man? doing, how you man? Doing, oh my God. How you doing, Look brother? My brother, it is so good to see you finally in person, man. Watch your gift, my brother. Uh, I want everybody to know he's filming us, man, because he. he I know, he been filming me out here he, all the time. He, I told he, him, don't you use this footage he, no, incorrectly. You gotta listen to Mike. He gonna yeah. snip me up where it's like I am a. I'm not even gonna get it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get it. To I you. want everyone to know that Mike right here is my brother, and look at what he got me. He got me this. I'm gonna get trash for this. In I'm his not. trip, no. I'll, everyone needs to know that Mike is a true gentleman. He, he is a dear, I consider him a dear brother and look at what he got me. And Mike, you got this from your trip because you went out there to the, you were in multiple places, right? Yeah, that's from Ephesus, from the house of uh, Ephesus, Mary and John. the house of Mary and John. This is my yeah. brother. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to cry. So you better, you better shut the camera off because I will cry. Wait for after the debate. We'll have to wait for, oh yeah, wait for, he said he just wait for after the debate. You can't cry in debate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the Kleenex right there next to a Dr. White for one. I'm right. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. You doing good? Yeah. I am so happy you got to make it all the way over here, brother. I told him, I said, if we, for later on, there's some free time. We're in town till tomorrow morning. And okay, so cool. we can definitely, awesome, something man. later after all this, because we're going to stay yeah, obviously yeah. for the doc, uh, after lunch. You're going to stay, stay for, for the, the speech. Everything. Awesome. Yeah, I doubt. Awesome. I, I already figured the cat is probably going to skirt out of here for that one. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although, maybe he, he'll convert a couple of y'all. Y'all stay for his speech. be a very smart move on your part. We'll, we'll Five solas. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't think you're going to have five sole people that stick around for that, but it's don't worry. It's funny because I keep telling them i got to talk to Alex behind the scenes because out there, you're not my friend. I know. We, we out gotta, there, I'm 100% against you, brother. I know. <laughs> we're back here. We're brothers. So this is we're pulling the curtain back right now, but as soon as we go back there, we have to... Yeah, it's I, like... Uh, I'm praying that uh, Dr. White uh, uh, pricks your heart, brother. <laughs> my heart? Oh, we'll, we'll see what he does. Yeah, but, let um, the Spirit be present today and let truth win. Let that be. Amen. I'm not praying for anybody to win other than the, the Holy Spirit, and I believe that the Holy Spirit wins on Amen. that battle. Amen. That's Amen. that's the prayer that I prayed this morning. We, we got to go to church this morning, man. I prayed for that. I prayed for, you know, the truth of God to always win no matter what, to eradicate all, all of our pride, and that all of us be here for the right reasons and not for, not out of ego. Get your peace. I know what the base like. I know you got a little nerves. Yeah, I feel good, man. You feel good? I, I was super nervous this morning, and then I had my coffee and it made me more nervous because caffeine gets you excited. I was going to move to church, man, and then it just kind of melted away. Your and bio I, said I, three debates. I need to know, who have you debated? So you and Luigi from uh, Oh, Orthodox. you know, I never got to see that Luigi debate. Yeah, me, yeah, so you were the first one, 
Technically, this is the second like moderated debate. Ours was more of a you know yeah, an just informal, a, discussion. Yeah, informal discussion, but because he this is his hundred ninetieth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and this is, so I need to like let me pad my pad my uh, my uh, my. Brother, I am not that great of a student. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Just I, one, you I know? just was telling him. I said, man, I hope I represented myself right because I didn't know I was about to be a part of your research study because people looking you up are gonna have to probably find you know run across maybe some videos of because they're probably gonna see. Voice of Reason versus Protestantism. Well, yeah. You know what videos, algorithms, I'm like, darn, I hope I did right while well, I'm in their research study. <laughs> well, I know Dr. White actually watched my debate with Luigi. He said that he watched that one. And then I think he might have watched ours. That was painful for Luigi. Because is, is he wasn't he arguing from an Orthodox point of view? Cause he was running, yeah. He was last running, time I saw him, don't you dare. Let me, let me do this properly real quick. Last I saw him, he was Protestant. And yeah, suddenly he was yeah. Orthodox. So I think it's... And I'll say this, you can literally cut me on this one because I know a female that did this. If you were a Protestant or Orthodox or Catholic within the last three years, you should not be debating yet. Right, yeah, right? that's kind of, you got to chill. Yeah. If Christ felt his apostles needed three years, and so did Paul. Right. You know, when people don't notice that in Galatians 1, yeah, Paul said I went away for three years. years. Before he, yeah. That number is, and what does Jesus talk about with the, the parable of the sower? The one that sprouts up too quickly? Right. We'll get up, get yeah. implanted with the word. Right. I, I get it. You might. I know someone who jumped from pro, different Protestants. She was reformed, then she went Orthodox, and they was debating. I'm like, yeah, they they need to chill. You know, prove that you're good where you're at first. Exactly. Right. And yeah. and because then you're also misrepresenting. I mean, I've had people that try and attack Calvinism and use me as the face, and like I'm not a Calvinist, so that's misrepresentation. Right. Off right. the I did. The, I made that mistake. Uh, on my Philadelphia show, I remember I said yeah. you were a Calvinist, and you that's different. Had this guy did a two-hour video on a, against Calvinism. And, and was, I was the face. And you were the guy. Yeah, he was using yeah. different. So it was like a purpose. But oh, my point okay. is, that's like me arguing against Catholicism using uh, someone who just became a Catholic or isn't even really Catholic. Like, right, you know what I mean? right, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah, man, bro, I'm so happy that you're I'm here. I'm actually I really, really. I'm really looking forward to how you define um, I, I'm your so, thesis statement. <laughs> oh, dude, the open your opening statement, man. I think I, I'm, I'm I very excited last about night, it, man. And I won't lie, I had a moment where one Catholic came in there and his yeah. comment, you know, I snap sometimes when guys come in there and yeah. they try and treat me like the other Protestants. I'll turn off the comment and kind of get a little loud. And some Catholics get upset with me, and I just want to let you guys know listen closely, it's never personal. Might come off personal, but it's always against the doctrine. As a human, you're a person made in. Jesus' image. But I was live and they were asking my thoughts and I said, I found it fascinating that you're the affirmative. Because mm -hmm. normally right. we're defending Sola Scriptura against y'all prove it. We have to prove we're right. right yeah. And I was very fascinated that you're stating the Bible teaches Catholic authority. Yes, and sir. I was live saying, how does he define Catholic authority? Is he saying right. the, the body is authority or the Roman I see capital C. So I'm interested. You don't got to tell yeah, me. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing yeah, how I'm you define know. your thesis statement. Yes, sir. Because that's what you're proving. Right, right. So yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what you mean by Catholic authority and yeah, man, it's going to be the thesis. I'm very, uh, I'm very excited to present the thesis, man. I Were think you I'm, given that, or was that yours to present? No, it's mine. Yeah, I wrote it. I okay. wrote it, and I. Uh, so you, cool. I workshopped it with a few people, you know, just to get, you know, like scripture says, you know, a wise person gets counsel from, you know, from has a counsel of, of many people, and I workshopped it with a few people that I respect. And uh, I got their approval, and they told me it was good. I said, okay, cool, so I'll run with it. And then actually, I've made a lot of edits to it, actually, just uh, on the way here yesterday. And then um, we did, like, another workshop last night with some of the, the Catholic folks here. And uh, No, go ahead, go ahead. We did a, a workshop with some of the Catholic folks here, and then um, I edited it. You know, they made some suggestions. I was like, okay, so I'll edit it just for... Just for clarity and the, you know, because mm -hmm. I can tend to my sent. I'm like Paul when he writes. How you know how like one chapter will be like one sentence. I'm, I can kind of be like that, and they're like, "Hey, dude, like you know, you gotta." Chill I can't and, stand when I'm like, I'm gonna read this line real quick. Yeah, and, and then it's like and, you know, ten minutes. In my later, heart, I can't stop without yeah. a period. I'm not about to in, incorrectly quote right, the right. scripture. I'm like, Paul, what were you thing. doing, brother? Like, Paul I had a lot. Paul I had a lot to say. People forgot the point I was quoting now because I'm over right? here in the whole new exactly. part of that, soteriology. That happens like every time. Every time. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Last time I'm live, I said, I feel like Alex, like five, six. I said, if he's taller than me, I said, I, said, I quit. Because everybody make me look short. And now you, I, how tall are you? Six foot? I'm uh, I'm 5'11. Okay, that five makes 11. sense. Because yeah. I'm like 5'10 and a half, 5'11. Five five well, you're right there. Probably, with me. Right, yeah. Darn it, man. 5'11. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. They're it's gonna funny. They're going to give me crap now when they see this video. I know. It's well, it, it's funny you mentioned that because a lot of people, that, there's the, you know, the video of me with the black Hebrew Israelites? Mm -hmm. You can shorten that. And then, yeah, and then I have other videos where I'm, uh, where I'm, where I'm lecturing at the college, right? And they all tell me they're like, oh, it's confirmed. Voice of Reason is four foot eleven. About or to whatever. put this box down. You yeah, know, like right? Tom Cruise be using the box to stand up <laughs> on it, man. 
Yeah, because from Tom Cruise is like, what, five, six? I was, it's funny, last night, were you watching the live as I was trashing you? I was like, I was like <laughs> Tom Cruise looks big on camera too. Yeah. He ain't that tall because like, they said you weren't short. I was like, yes, he is. Well, I was, yeah, so I'm 5'11", and everyone, I guess in the video, they think they're like, oh, he looks like he's like 4'9". And, um, it's your stature. It's you what you think is what it is. You're not long-limbed. There's well, some people that long, so right, they look right. tall. Yeah, well, and then this morning, I, when we were at church, actually, we ra I ran into a guy who, who follows me, and he came up to me, and one of the first things he told me, he looked at me, and he goes, you're a lot thinner than you look in your videos. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so he's like, no, you look good. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. So I guess I look uh, short and fat in is my videos. Did you have people walk up to you yet? Um, uh, we we kind of got used to it. it. It happens like, it actually happens kind of often. It's, it's weird, but um, it's always cool. Though. You live in a Catholic community, like, is it? What's your? Is, where it's, you're it's from? It's mixed. It's mixed. Yeah, but okay. there, lo, tons of Catholics, tons of Protestants. But yeah, I get a lot of people that both Catholics and Protestants that come up to me and they talk to me and they uh, tell me that they watch my stuff and um, and yeah, it's cool. It's it's always nice to at least know that. And people actually watch my stuff, you know, that's, that's why we do it. It's so. weird still, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just a guy. <laughs> I know, yeah. They, I've know. had people walk up to me, like, at the library. At the library. And I was like, hey. Yeah. And they're like, I just want to, like, okay, I'm, I'm just Mike. Hi. <laughs> I remember we went, we went to go visit Michael Lofton in person, and we were on the plane, and me and this guy were, were talking as we're on the plane, and the guy in front of us in the seat behind us, he, like, turns around, he, like, looks over, and he goes, hey. Aren't you, don't you appear, Michael Duffy? Aren't you voice of reason? I'm like, oh yeah. And you also have so a voice that they'll catch without yeah, seeing you see. Right. I don't know if people, although I have had people say, um, I had one person say, I was thinking that was you, and then you started talking. And then and, was, yeah. uh, but your voice, I can imagine being on a plane, being like, all yeah, right, either, yeah. St either Stallone is on the plane, <laughs> but voice of reason. People thought I were, did you see that video where I gave you Stallone's face? Did you ever see that? No, I don't know. You uh, never saw that? You had so. to have seen it, right? No. Oh. Dude, I, it's. <laughs> I, you know, I, have, I love messing with people, yeah. and I had somebody like, that's not nice. Like, first chef, we're just playing. I, I've been getting it since I was like 16 that people are like, oh, Stallone. And, uh, like, it's not offensive to be called a guy that's cool. so successful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he's Catholic, so even better. But anyway. He is, isn't he? He yeah. is very Catholic. He's a Northeastern Italian, and very Catholic. we are raised a certain way. Yeah. Well, we, uh, so, yeah, so we've had a lot of people that come up to us at the church, quite a few people came up to us and everything. And yeah, yeah. Thank you. Gonna have to do it at double speed, Dr. White. Just press the, the could, option could, on your. Could, could we you know. could we wipe off the podium here? Um. Yeah. <laughs> the blood, sweat, and tears, right? <laughs> um, before you before you start that timer, um, Alex, I'm enjoying this. And Me too, I Dr. Really, Dr. White. Really appreciate you Dr. White. Thank you so much. This is one of the biggest honors of my life. I've been watching this man for almost 10 years, and the fact that I'm on stage with him, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm very spoiled, so thank you guys so much. Yeah, I this started doing this before he was Woo! born. So, before yeah, I was uh, born. Just like, and, I'm, and I'm enjoying it. I but really we both have back problems, so at least we're, <laughs> we both talked about it. All right. Pastor Alex or a rabbi? No, Alex I'm, not, I'm none of that. I'm just, I'm just Alex. <laughs> oh, okay. That was wonderful. That oh, was thank really you. magnificent. Thank you. Thank you, you know, so much. You know, being as a Protestant from the Protestant side, yeah, yeah. you know, you have presuppositions yeah, of what the Catholic Church is. We all do. And yeah, they, right. And so it was really nice to hear the way you put them forth. And, you know, it gives a person a lot to think about. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you enjoyed it. And I'm honored that you oh, would yeah, come and tell much, me that. Man. So thank you so yeah. much. Can I have a picture? Of course. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It would, be, it would be my honor. I'll get down there and we'll... Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you so much. God bless you. Pray for me, okay? Yes, sir. Please pray for me. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Hold on. You come here. You come here. No, you come here. Uh, what time did you get in, man? Because I got in like right away, right? You just came in just now? From Spain? Yeah, from Spain we arrived yesterday. How are you feeling? You all right? You good? I wanted to come. Oh man, I'm so happy that you're here, man. I am so happy that you're here. I saw here, you, man. And I, oh, we, we man. smiled at each other before. I saw you when you walked in because Father Chris was like, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it because he's just coming in from Spain. And I was like, ah, I hope he does because it's in your own hometown, so you got to be here for that, man. How you been, brother? How was Spain? How was it? Was it good? I'm so glad, man. Good, man. That's good, brother. This is my brother right here. Hey, how you doing, man? Alex, how are you? Nice to meet you. Very nice meeting you. Me, me and you, bro, we're, we're, we're boys. Yeah, we're boys. Do you? Yeah, That's watch, awesome, man. Well, thank you, man. I'm yeah. glad you enjoyed it. Were you in Spain, too? With the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all just got back. Was it good? Oh, yeah, you guys awesome. have a good time? It was awesome. 
Well, I'm so, I'm so glad. I'm so happy, man. I'm so good to see you, brother. We gotta catch up. I, I gotta get going. Thank you, you. Like you all was, over TikTok, all over YouTube. Was everyone like, loving it? Good. Everyone yeah, loving yeah, it? Yeah, we were all like proud that he'd be captain. Oh, oh man. man, you're gonna make me cry, no, 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 man. No, no, thanks, man. You made, you brought tears to my eyes, oh, and man. everyone listened. Like we were all like commenting. I'm like, I'm like trying not to be on my phone, but I'm like, oh, yeah. this is great. Like, oh man. Yeah, and uh, uh, several people from the UK also said, hey. Oh, cool, man. They, they Absolutely. Tell you, that was really amazing, man. I really appreciate listening. to Thank you. I thought it was great. Thank you, my yeah, friend. Yeah, I'm here from Cheyenne, Wyoming. So oh, wow. You came all the way. Yep. Was there something else going on? or you? Nope, just this. You yeah. came all the way from Cheyenne, yeah. Wyoming for to see a debate? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I think you, you, have the pro you have the trophy now for the <laughs> longest distance traveled, I think. I don't, how long of a drive is that? Uh, about three hours. About three hours? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yeah, but yeah, well, that's no, awesome, it was really man. amazing, man. I, you know, I'm yeah. just kind of new into the whole world of Christianity, so. Oh, are you? It was really oh, good, man. Listening to well, you talk, and, any... and you destroyed it. Oh, it thank you. Amazing. Of course, My yeah. My daughter bought me this for Christmas this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to see if you could sign it for me right here. You want me to sign a book for you? Please. I will sign a, a book you for you. All right. Let me, uh, I think I have a pen over I here. Oh, okay, you got a pen. So oh, nice. She's going to love it, man. Yeah, so, all right. So, uh, I, this is the first time I've ever done this. Oh, is it? This is the first time that anyone has ever asked me to sign anything. Really? So, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> hey, dude, do you know how I should sign this? Is it just Alex? Should I put, like, my... Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give, and then I'm going to say... So, that's my... And then I'm going to say... Oh, I don't know how to spell, boys, <laughs> of reason. And if um, she has any question about who, if I really did sign this, there's video proof now. If she has video proof. So Voice of Reason did sign this book. For, pardon me that I've never signed anything before in my life, so I don't know how to do this. But you guys have the very first Voice of Reason signed uh, anything. Right awesome. You. God bless you. I God bless you, brother. It, man. I feel like I learned so much. I'm thank glad. You thank much. you, brother. The, the honor and the pleasure was all mine. All you right, guys take, take care, care and, and you guys be safe. We'll talk us, again. Man. It's a good debate. Thank good, you. man. Thank you very much. I, same way you look up to Dr. White, I look up to you. Oh, man. Uh, stop it. So just, stop it's it. It's great to come out. This is my first ever live debate awesome. coming to. So, oh, yeah? yeah? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was awesome. It was That's awesome. awesome. I'm probably watching it back as well. So, I'm excellent, man. Well, tell me your name again, man. My name is Jamin. Jamin, okay. Please pray for me. I appreciate it, man. And thank you for saying you look up to me, man. There's there's a lot better people you could look up to, but I appreciate you saying that, okay? God bless you and and, and take care. Yeah, good luck, you know. Thank you so much. Absolutely, man. We got a lot coming up, man. We got a lot coming up, so God bless you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you, brother. God bless. Hey, how you doing, man? Thank you for taking that picture for us. Yeah, no problem. What's your name? Uh, my name's Trent. Trent, I love that name. Yep, Nothing yep. like Trent, man. Uh, I, I saw you on TikTok before. Your clips go to Instagram. That's how I see it. Oh, okay. uh, I just wanted to thank you for being very respectful. Like, oh, my thank respect you. for you definitely increased because of your behavior today. Oh, thank you. And the questions that you raised, I'll definitely go over this and like uh, definitely uh, try to find the answers for myself. Compare that, Doctor White's yeah. questions. Yeah. Yes. Like yes. That. Absolutely. But I just wanted to commend you for your uh, thank very you. good behavior. Very respectful. Thank you, my friend. That, that means and a lot I to me. I did a good job. thank you so much. That is that is truly. Uh, a, a huge compliment because that was really the most important thing is I, I would hate to, I don't know, win the debate, but then everyone thinks I'm a jerk or everyone thinks I'm, you know what I mean? Like that, yeah, come off like, I, yeah, I never wanted to. I, I got worried there, for, uh, you know, during the, like the intercession, I was backstage and I asked people, hey, do you think that I'm coming off a little too strong in the rebuttals? And they're like, I would think you're fine. I'm like, okay. I got nervous about that, but um, James White is a great guy, man. Dr. White is so cool and uh, it's easy with him. He just, he, you know, he, he's great, so. Um, thank you, man. Thank you for coming. How are you? Good, brother. How you uh, doing? I love the debate. Thank um, you, man. Thank you. The other thing, I always wish there was more time. Was, uh, uh, great conversation and great questions. Dr. White said so. so many great things. Oh, he yeah. said yeah. And towards the end, too, like his closing statement and like um, some of the things that he answered when we were doing the audience Q&A. He, he made so many great points that I would have loved. I, I think you might have even seen it, too. He said something. I was like, yeah, I, no, like, I, I, was like I was like, ah, because yeah, I would have yeah. loved to have responded to that. And yeah. um, you know, he made so many great points that, uh, yeah, it was a great, I, I had a great time and he showed yeah. me a great time. So yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it too, man. It was a good and forum. And I love what was said. Good. And, um, I, and I hope you got to learn a lot. And absolutely. And I can't wait to see you uh, walking around. Have a good What's one. going on again, yeah, man? That was awesome. Yeah, I love your shirt, man. Yeah, Check out this shirt. Look at that. This is because, because of this right here, because of the, the people that, you know, you guys have no idea how many rosaries. Um, so many people reached out to me saying, I prayed the rosary for you, I prayed the rosary, I prayed the rosary for you. And look at this, the rosary crew is here, and it's only yes, by sir. the grace of God that this debate went as well as it did. So thank, thank all of you who prayed for me. 
Um, and thank you for coming. What's your name, man? Tell me your uh, name again. Eric. 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 I God got bless my you, brother. For you this morning. Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Yeah, the, the debate was too short. Oh I okay. Get enough information. Oh out. man, I know, man. No, the debates not, are never long enough, man. There's all you could always talk for hours more. So yeah, now I gotta go home and do more research. Yeah, man, do more research. And if you need any, if you have any questions, man, don't hesitate to reach out to me, man. Don't hesitate, yeah. to, you know, follow, you know, uh, reach out to me on Instagram or TikTok, uh, messages, however it works. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, I'm more than happy to talk to you, brother. Honestly, I'm not trying to gas you up too much. You did really good. You Thank know, you. It's hard, I, every time it's hard to set your uh, uh, to separate your like bias in, in debates. Honestly, right, right. I thought you did really good, like especially addressing the questions right away. Right. So, so Thank usually, you. especially watching debates, you kind of see them over past it, but you have everything down. So Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and I know uh, Dr. James White, he uh, did his little plug for his rebinding, but if you ever want, I have a rebinding store and stuff on Instagram. Oh, do you? If you want to send it something, I'll hook you up. So, yeah. Bro. So, this, so I did this one. Uh, I changed Can my I company name from this, but yeah. What is, it, what is, your, co what is your company name? Ex Nihilo Rebind. Ex Nihilo Rebind. Yes, Dr. White. What about your shoe? You're not as cool as him. About your what? About my shoes. What about him? Well, I don't want to point him out because you're going to put me to shame because mine are just a classic. I just thought you sort of want to go. Dr. White, I, I, need, I, I, Dr. White I, am not, I am not going to, uh, I'm not lying here and this guy's going to be witness. Remember my Jakiri outfit? It matches exactly, that matches exactly. I was going to wear an outfit that had that pattern. That would have looked really weird. If you came like that, Alex, I wouldn't have liked them. If I would have, I was, I'm not lying to you. I'm going to send you a picture of the outfit. Look, I want to see it. It would have matched perfectly with I want, those. I want to see it. Yeah. It would have, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? The, the, the Jakiri hooked me up. I was going to wear that. And it's very loud, and I'm like, ah, people might get the wrong idea if I, yeah, they'll yeah, probably think it's yeah, tacky. Yeah. So I decided against it, but it is fly. And those are fly. See, when you have it on your feet, it works because it's not too, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Dr. White. Oh, and, he, and, I think I needed it. Where he says that he, uh, he, he was giving a, a speech at a, uh, I stole this man's book. Come get your book, man. Um, Patrick Madrid says that he, he was giving a speech at a Catholic conference, and he had the microphone on him, and he went to confession. Because they were uh, they were uh, they were uh, and it was still offering awesome. confessions, and he went in and he said his entire confession, and it wasn't until he came out of the confessional that he realized that he still had the mic on. But thank God he said it wasn't on, so he okay. had he had turned it off, and he was okay. that would have been bad. Because well, I was in the bathroom, I had it on. Oh wow. No, well, no. What happened was you did have it on, and they were saying let's turn it on. And I was like. If Alex is in the bathroom, don't turn oh, the microphone off. Oh yeah, that right would have been. So I had your back on that. One. Thank you so I much, Doctor White. That one. Thank you so much. Yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. No, 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 not at all, Doctor White. Thank sorry you so much. And by the way, those shoes are super fly, Doctor White. There you go. Well, I don't have many of them. I don't have a lot of super fly in here. Uh, uh, but I. Your 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 yeah, outfits are always super fly. Oh, quick. thank you. So you guys saw it here. Doctor White has better shoes than me. All right, I'll admit it. Well, my friend. Okay. We need. I need. I need you to shout out your Instagram here. So everybody, tell, tell, tell the people your name. All right, my name is Xavier Dryling. Xavier. Uh, I rebind Bibles. So my Instagram is X Nihilo Rebinds. So you can see some of this work. I'm obviously dealing with the Seventh Ecumenical Council right now. I haven't made the decision. <laughs> I haven't made this decision, but that is sick. Sweet. So I do all this work. That is nice. That's beautiful. Yeah. So now everybody knows, everyone's going to have Instagram. Everybody go follow Xavier on Instagram because this is really amazing. Yeah, X Nihilo Rebinds. X Nihilo Rebinds. That's beautiful, man. I love that. So Out yeah, of nothing. Let me know, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if you send something over, I hope you yeah, just do it. So absolutely. Let me know. Yes, sir. Yeah, Thank you so it. much, brother. Yeah, Xavier, yeah. it was a pleasure. God bless you, man. You, Thank you yeah, so safe, much. Safe try, try. Absolutely, brother. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I mean, I'm, I, I know when we, um, I'm, I'm, I'm working with Mike Dill for the Infernal Men. Oh, okay, and good, so good. So when we first heard Daniel Lights coming, we're trying to find somebody. I'm like, oh, this is such going to be an intimidating debate because I've, I've watched James White as well. And some of his debates, sometimes they get very dis divisive and stuff He's, like that. Uh, but I thought you did an amazing job. Thank you so much. You held your own. You, you, you portrayed our Catholic faith in, in such a very in a clear light. Okay. Which I thought, and honestly, there were a couple times where I'm thinking, I don't know if he had the full answers to what you said. Yeah, and yeah. I think, I think I'll have to watch it back because yeah. I no, it was, this this whole debate was a blur for me. I don't know what I said. I don't know what he said. I can't remember any of it. No, so. I think you did a great job. Thank you so much. Um, and I think that again, the intimidation factor, especially if you've been watching it for years. I'm, oh yeah, I, I have you know almost ten years <laughs> so. of watching him destroy right. so many people that he debates. So it was, right. I was, so, yeah. 
wonderful job. Thank you. God, God, guiding you for sure. God bless you. Thank you so and much. That, and that tradition, the magisterium guiding you too, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank God you. bless you, Josh. Thank you so much. Hello again. Thank you guys so much. Um, do you know Eric, Eric Ibarra? I've never, I've never corresponded with him personally, but I do know, yeah. Okay. There's gotcha. like two degrees of separation between me and him. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. he does great work. He does great work. Yeah, I've, I, yeah. so I, I remember interacting with him and knowing him back like in his reform days. Oh, wow, okay. And then yeah. when he became Roman Catholic, it was within that specific, particular group. Right. Everything just kind of blows up. There's a lot of nastiness towards people. And so I've noticed as people move away and leave towards like Eastern Orthodoxy or Roman Catholicism, yeah. there's a lot of anger towards people in that. Right, I remember yeah. when Eric left, there's a couple other people. So, because I, I, and I saw a picture with you and Michael Lofton. So I didn't yeah, know if yeah. there was like a connection. Yeah, there. yeah. I've, um, I've never talked to him like in person. I've, I've talked to him like here and there a couple of times. He did, he did a video not too long ago where he was responding to uh, the debate that I had with Luigi on Michael's channel. Interesting. Okay. And he, uh, and he uh, did a, a, a review of that. And I left a comment on there and he, mess he commented back and we had a... So it's very brief, very, very brief, almost nothing. But uh, okay. he knows of me. I obviously, I, I've uh, learned a lot from him. I know his work. He does, right. Eric Ibarra does incredible work. Right. Him, Lofton. Um, William Albrecht, all those guys that were all part of that Reason and Theology team together, amazing, you know. So, um, so yeah, I, maybe one day I'll, I'll have the good pleasure of, of getting to meet him and, and talk to him in person, you know. Yeah, so awesome. that'll be good. When are you going to be back up to do more debates? Whenever they invite me, I'm more than happy to come back up. If, if they want to have me come up again, I'm, more, you know, it's not too far for me, so I'm more than happy to. So, yeah, awesome. That's, That's what you referenced when you said, yeah. you write a, okay. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That was a very smart move debate-wise. It was. Yeah. And obviously we know for Protestants that is a smart move to try and go to. <laughs> I would have threw some punches back, although I, I think bet. that he wasn't yeah. trying for those. But it was a very, that was a good move. I'll give you on that one. Yeah, it was. That they have baby baptism across the street. Yeah, they, yeah. And um, I, I was paying attention to James' face during a lot of it because I like to watch his face. I even told him at one point, I said, one time I saw Alex say something that I was like, where, where did I say that? And I looked at James' face and he was like, Oh yeah. Because there was a couple of things where you said, and I'm looking up like he made some, I need uh, to see your evidence because you kept pointing his paper, and that's I wish I even leaned forward like, get me a copy oh, of yeah. this paper yeah, your brother you. got up there. I can share it with you. <laughs> I, I can... didn't know what he kept pointing to. Hello. I, you know, I saw Thank in the you. comment section on YouTube people that saying awesome, that Mike. Thank you so much. this going to change right his career. Right there. Yeah, yeah, Mainly yeah, because I, I'll you give him so props. This he did a lot better than I thought he would in presentation. Like I'm not talking about doctrine yet because I'm sure we'll have a conversation a little bit better with that but like debate wise really really impressed with that being your first what you go to you went to school um I went to Albuquerque High School <laughs> no I meant I meant uh, uh post post high school no I, I I went to seminary for like a cup of coffee is what I call it uh, yeah it was I heard very, you say that very so, brief but, and, so you yeah. don't have any public speaking classes other no, than high school no no debate classes so no. your debate prep did you just turn to watching debates all I did was watch debates. I just watched debates and that was it. I've never, I, there was actually one of my, well, somebody that came up to talk to me, it was actually during that, during halftime, during the intercession. And it was a young kid who came up to me and he was like, uh, I'm 14 years old and I'm taking debate in school. I just started high school. It's going to be, it's Holy Apostles. Yes, that's right there. Yeah, that's the one. Yes, sir. sorry about that. We're, um, yeah, you can turn right up here. And he was like, uh, I just started high school and I signed up for the debate team. And uh, he's like, I'm learning from you. And I was like, uh, I didn't even know that was a thing when I was in high school. <laughs> and I, I wish I, I had known that I would have done it, but yeah. no, I, I've never done any, you know, I've never had any formal. Uh, uh, I dreamed it three times. You did, you last, dreamt it? Last night. You were yeah. dreaming of a, I, I did my opening statement so many times yesterday on the road as we were up here, because I wanted to make sure I could hit my time and everything that these guys are like, He's telling himself, bro, I, I dreamt of you giving your opening statement in, in, in the debate and everything. And, <laughs> you know. That's how, yeah. yeah. I, it's those jitter, It's like even with your first football game, your first yeah, anything. It's, anything. It's, you debate get the, is a boxing match with, you know, articulation. Your mind, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly.